Welcome to Dude RV. Hey, I really appreciate you stopping by and you got here just in time for a crazy video. So I'm, I'm camped out in East Texas and I've been exploring all the recreation.gov campsite, campgrounds. There were two campgrounds I found on Google and so I, I came to check these out. And one of them was it, where I am right now is Boykin Springs. Not a whole lot of information about Boykin Springs. And so I just thought, oh, I'll pop in here and check it out. And now I'm really surprised. And the other one will be at the end of this video. I went to Caney Creek Recreation Area, which is a for, another forest service campground. Wasn't much there. But I was really surprised at what I found here at Boykin Springs because I looked, I couldn't find anything. But it was, man, it was built by the CCC way back in the day. And then the original spillway was 1938 and then it grew up and then Rita destroyed it. And they've since reconstructed it. And we're gonna, we're gonna check out some of this stuff. A hallmark of the Civilian Conservation Corps was their megalithic log group pavilion with the massive fireplace. Check this out. This is so cool. I just love the way they built these structures. They even have modern facilities. I guess I need to deploy Little Red. We need to go see some stuff. Boykin Springs. If you're looking for a, a primitive camping location in the Angelina National, in the, in the big thicket, you cannot go wrong with this. We've got water. Shower, we're gonna check those out in a minute. That's the bathhouse. You don't have electricity or water at your site, but man, just look at the sites. Each site has a lantern hook, barbecue, fire pit, and a table. Place to pitch a tent. You might see Bigfoot out here. <laughs> yeah, this is this is Bigfoot country right here. This this is definitely one that should be on your list. Of course, right now it's it's hot and humid, but let's go see some more stuff. We won't be bringing a little red out on this. <laughs> this road <laughs> it's really really rough so there's no day use fee required to come visit Boykin Springs I think it's like five dollars a night to, to camp but I'm dying to know what do the showers look like so let's find out It's just a big shower, but it does have handicap. So now we know. Although campsites are not really handicap accessible. Let's go see if we can get to the spring. So it's not very, it's not very handicap accessible, but we got to the high point here. 
it's interesting because there's as far as I can find there's not just a a general beach area unless maybe it's way up there we got a rope swing though I'm not sure I'd want to be swinging on that just saying the water's I think it's really muddy right now because we've had a whole lot of rain over the last couple of days Let's go check out the spillway. Boykin Springs Spillway. I surmounted the impasse. It's kind of kind of surprising. There's as much water coming out over here on these little channels, like right here. There's as much water there as there is there. It's a very pretty spot out here. Wonderful place to spend some time camping when it's a little cooler, or if you're, you're self-contained like a, in a van or something, it'd be, it'd be cool, because there's nobody here. That's pretty cool. Somebody else is here. They have a park, they have a campground host, park host. I don't know, campground host is probably not the right term. They've got somebody that's working, that lives in an RV on location. And they drive around in a golf cart. So if they're driving in a golf cart and they're living in an RV at a campground, does that make them a campground host? I don't know. Let's go see some more stuff. Well, now that show be walking or hobbling, whatever you want to call what I do. So we're at the upper end of the the the, the spring, the little lake, the the pond. I couldn't tell if this was if it was rock or or sand. It turns out it's it's sand. So I guess this is where people would be swimming, and I don't know why there's not anybody swimming. It's plenty hot enough for it. You get up here, and the water looks a little more clear. It's still kind of muddy because of of all the rain. All right, I think. I think we're done at Boykin Springs. I need a breeze. I need some air. All right, so we're done here at, at Boykin Springs. Let's jump over to Caney Creek and I'll, I'll, I'll show that to you. And then we'll, I'll, we'll come back over here. So when you're looking at Google Maps, you see the Caney Creek Recreation Area. <laughs> and I got excited. I was like, oh man, they got three loops and a boat ramp and a day use area, just looking at the, you know, the, the Google map. I'm in Caney Creek Recreation Area. This is a forest service recreation area. It's $6 a night on the honor system. 
to tent camp or to you know if you have a van or you know a small self-contained rv that's that's what you get there's two vault toilets no water no power i bet it's super quiet out here but there's there's only this one loop that's open and the boat ramp big huge parking lot for the boat ramp and you can see that this at one time this was a pretty extensive campground with like three loops and you can see where they had a dump station all that's not functioning right now but if you're looking for a place to do some primitive camping where it's super quiet and you've got a kayak we're right on the water And there's nobody here. Caney Creek Recreation Area. Well, Caney Creek Recreation Area is empty. <laughs> I guess that must have been the uh, park headquarters or something. There's a huge parking lot with street lights and a light pole. So there's like at least three street lights right here. I don't know if they work though. Anyway, since I'm here, I'm gonna do a, I'm just gonna do a scooter run. It won't be a tour, but we're gonna ride through the forest and we can see the Angelina National Forest. So here's an observation. <laughs> an observation of the perhaps absurdity of the way federal things work. So the, the camping loops here at the Caney Recreation Area are in serious disrepair. There's really only the one over there. And the road is so rough you can't drive on it and the sites are all grown up and if it wasn't for people coming out and trampling it down you wouldn't be able to get in there and yet they're paying someone to come out and mow the grass over here where there's nothing <laughs> there's nothing here why are we mowing the grass there's no campsites. There's there's a picnic table over there. I, I don't know if you can camp there or not. Probably probably not. But what's the point? If you're gonna let it go back to nature, why mow the grass here at this parking lot? Uh, it's just an observation. <laughs> All right, let's let's go let's go over to Boykin Springs. So that was Caney Creek. The Caney Creek Recreation Area. That was, was kind of kind of sad, you know. That looked like a would have been a a great RV destination. I was quite disappointed with what I found at the Caney Creek Recreation Area, as, as far as from the RV aspect. Be a great place to go if you if you don't need power and water, uh, and you don't have a great big rig. A small rig would be good. It, it, it was super quiet out there. It's like it's super quiet here. This would be a fantastic place to come and spend the week. Of course, when school's out, I bet this place is hopping. If you've enjoyed these two camp, kind of campground, I mean, I, I showed you some stuff, right? So I guess, I guess those are campground experiential videos. If you enjoyed them, if you found some value in this video, please click on the thumbs up and I'd be most honored if you'd consider clicking on the subscribe button and remember to hit that bell as well. You know, you don't want to miss another episode of the Dude RV Traveling Roadshow. I go all over the place. And for those of you who have been following along, thank you so much. That's, that's why I get to do what I do. That's why I'm out here walking on that sandbar right there. Thank you for that opportunity. And for my patrons, man, you can hardly see me. 
Go up here some light. There's, where is the light? There's the light. All right, for my patrons. Thank you. I am most grateful. You rock. All right, y'all come back now, you hear?